at Garrett Price. We are in Wales here for the Rodus exhibition. What an electric atmosphere out there. It's like a TV event. Honestly, it's buzzing. You know, I played Robert in the warm up game there, and it was, yeah, I felt like I couldn't miss, and the crowd were brilliant. He, Robert was brilliant, and yeah, the whole occasion was good. So, yeah, fingers crossed it'd be the same against Johnny in a minute. Yeah, look, World Cup teammates collide, so it's always a good thing for the crowd here, but looking to, to do one in. Yeah, obviously these events are all a bit of fun and you know entertainment for the crowd. That's what the exhibition is all about. But on the other hand, you, you sort of want to win as well. But you know we'll have some good fun and hopefully he'll get to seven all the swap darts and see who wins. Last one, you beat him with his own darts, I believe, if I remember rightly. I think we've swapped a couple of times yeah. and he haven't beat me yet, well, mind. But he's come close. But tonight could be the night for him. Uh, look, obviously. Confidence from the, the World Series, can, can you take a lot from that into the back end of the year? Yeah, definitely, especially you know, Australia. I was uh, probably worn out a bit you know, by the time we were in, Austra in uh, New Zealand. Just probably looking forward to coming home more than anything. I was going to go to the Pro Tours, but just you know, I haven't been able to shrug off the jet lag. Even now, I'm, I'm shattered. But uh, fingers crossed, over the next couple of weeks, I'll get back, back on track and you know, ready to go for the, for the big TV events. I know we spoke whilst you were in Australia. The Grand Slam isn't there yet. I heard you and Johnny talking about it tonight. Is that the priority to get yourself back to Aldersley? No, not really. I, I'm, I'm sort of in the mindset now that I'll turn up and play in whatever events I'm in. If I'm not in them, I don't care. You know, I'm, I've sort of built, built a platform, so to speak, for, for me to just do what I want to do. You know, if I fall outside the top 64 and finish darts tomorrow, I really don't care. You know, I'm, I'm just going to start enjoying darts now, turn up when I want to turn up, not turn up when I have to turn up. So yeah, I think um, in previous years it's been darts first and family yeah. life after, but I think it's going to change now. It's family life first, darts after, and uh, my main priority is back at home. Look, it's interesting that we know you've been very wise with your money, with your, your properties and your, and your other businesses. Is that nice knowing that you are now comfortable in life, that you don't have to worry about darts? Yeah, but then it also eases the pressure and you haven't got the pressure's on you to go and win, and sometimes those pressures are good, good for you, you know? But when I first started and I was eager, I wanted to win, I wanted to be in everything, and I, I, I've sort of done everything I've wanted to do, and I haven't got that urgency anymore, and hopefully I'll come back. But, you know, I'll keep trying my best, I'll plod on as long as I can, but, yeah, now the chip he's doing well. You never know, the, the retirement be, could be sooner rather than later. It's interesting that you talk about that, because I was going to ask you anyway, that like you say, when you're coming up and you're hungry to try and provide an, for a, like a generational thing for your, for your family and your girls, and once that's done, is it hard to motivate yourself for these tournaments? Yeah, but like, like you said, I've invested well. I've, I've invested in property and I've built a good um, sort of platform and I, I don't have to rely on darts. I don't have to rely on the income. I turn up purely just to play and yeah, the money's good and I want to keep trying to invest and get as many properties as I can. But you know, at the end of the day, and you, you lose a little bit of a drive because you don't need the money. You don't, you don't need to be in every event. You don't need to go to pro tours. You don't need to go to Europeans, apart from ranking events and other ranking points. But yeah, if, if I drop out over the next five, six, seven years, I don't care. You touched on the retirement word. Have you set a date in mind? Because I remember talking to you a few years ago that you said, I'm not going to chase this forever. Have you set a retirement date from the sport in mind? No, no, I said at the beginning, you know, I'm probably 45 years of age, another six, seven years to go. That's me probably done, but, you know, I'll, I'll never just chuck chuck my darts away and or hang them up, so to speak. I'll, I'll always keep going, but... The, as far as the pro tours, Europeans, I'll probably put them on a the back burner and do as much as I can in the TV events. And as long as I'm, you know, guaranteed money, I'm not going to throw out of the way. I'm just going to keep going. But yeah, I'm going to slow down sooner rather than later. I think. Two bits off of what you said there, because I like picking up on what you say, because I, I love the way your your mind works. The guaranteed money and the tournaments that you want to play in. I know it's a long way away, yeah? Yeah, but I, like Phil Taylor just gives his card away and he's probably guaranteed to be in everything the year after, won the match play, got to the World Championship final and, you know, he, he's guaranteed X amount of money the following year and just throws it away. I wouldn't do that, you know, I'm going to... No, no. I'm going to still do as many TV events. If they invite me to Premier League, well, I'm, I'm outside the top 32 in the world, I'll probably do it. If they're going to invite me to World Series, I'll do it. But as far as the Pro Tours and Europeans and chasing things, that's probably where I'll stop, but... As long as I'm in the top 16 and in TV events, 
then I'll just keep doing it. You touched on the Premier League there. Would you put yourself through that again? Because we know that you've openly said you're not a fan of the Premier League in its current format, having to play three games a night, get yourself ready for that. Would you play next year in that format or would you skip it? To be honest with you, I'd probably skip it. I'm, I'm do a break in the Premier League and, you know, I, I love I love travelling, I love playing in it, but as you can see this year, it hasn't been good to me and it sort of gives a knock-on effect, but, you know, it might come to January, February next year, I might have a... But, you know, a, a blistering next five, six months and look forward to the Premier League next year. But as it stands, I probably wouldn't play in it. But who, who knows, you know, six months down the line, I might change my mind. I think, you know, just give it another crack. But I say every year I'm not going to play in it. And then I end up playing in it. So, yeah, I could say no now, but then I probably I probably will. But it's, it's just interesting. And I, and, I, and I love the way that the, the Gezi Price mind works because I think this is unlike anyone else thinks because you haven't come through the system like everyone else where this is just something that, you, that you're good at and can make a living from where some people actually really enjoy the sport and like playing while you're this is this is business yeah but i enjoy playing you know, yeah. I, oh, yeah, I'm not I, saying you don't enjoy, I don't you know turn I mean? up and think i, I don't want to be here i, I yeah. enjoy i enjoy being on the road sometimes it, it can be too much but you know i enjoy playing darts i still love turning up and playing in pro tours yeah. europeans but i know you know, five, six, seven years down the line, that probably won't be the case. But you know, if it come to today and I just wanted to wrap it up, I probably could. But then I'll probably be too bored as well. <laughs> so I need to keep busy. But yeah, I'm just going to keep investing another couple of years. You know, but I'm on 45, five, six years time. See where it is and uh, go from me. We're going to see you behind the counter at the chippy. Yeah, I've been there already. Yeah, I'd so <laughs> if you haven't been, come on. Yeah. Hey, I'm serving chips, cooking fish, and whatever you want. I'm, I'm the best chef about. Are you, are you, do you like that kind of thing, just to take your mind off of everything else and just just cook and things like that? No, but I'm outside of darts. I'm just a, a normal person. Yeah. You know, I've, I've got a chip shop that's running, and if I'm in there and they need a little bit of help, I'll do it. If I have to drive, if I have to pick up stuff, I was today before I came here. I was up to Booker's in Merthyr <laughs> picking up picking up stuff for the girls. So you know, whatever happens, I'll do it. Gazi, it's an absolute pleasure catching up with you here in Swansea, mate. Thank you very much as always. Sorry, sorry, man.